Hello everyone, welcome to Minimal Mindful Mama. I'm Katie Mixon and in today's video I am going to be talking about why we have chosen to not homeschool our children. To give you a little bit of background, I was homeschooled personally myself from kindergarten all the way through graduating high school. My husband as well was homeschooled for a few grades. I then went on to get my degree in early childhood education and I'm certified through second grade. I student taught in the public school system and I've also worked as a lead teacher in several private preschools which happens to be my current job as well. Due to having a degree in education, I am clearly capable of homeschooling my children and as someone who has homeschooled myself, I can attest to the benefits of homeschooling and so I thought it would be interesting to deviate a little bit from my typical motherhood topics and do a video about education and why we've chosen not to homeschool. I personally always loved reading and loved learning and I think that I could have done well in any kind of school environment because that's just my personality. But every child is different, so different children are going to thrive in different types of education environments. Some children will be able to more easily adapt to a variety of school environments and other children might need a more specialized education plan. This, of course, depending on your child, could be a big motivator either to homeschool or not to homeschool. Children learn differently, and so it's important when making an educational decision that you really try to figure out what would work best for your specific child, and it may not even be across the board in your own family. You may have some children who would really thrive in one kind of learning environment and other children who have different needs. Those needs also may look different year by year. You may find a school or program that you feel is working really well and a great fit for your family. And then there may come a time when it's no longer working as well and you need to make changes. So it's important to take it year by year and to really focus on the specific child and their needs at that time. One of the reasons we have chosen to not homeschool our children is that I believe that there is more value to school than simply academics. My two older children currently go to a public charter school and my youngest is still in preschool. A big reason that we chose the school that we did is because I didn't only want my girls' school experience to be focused on academics. There are other schools locally that get better academic scores that place a higher emphasis on delivering a really good education and being the best academically. However, it was important to me personally not that my children be raised to view themselves as the best because in my opinion it's more important that they treat others around them with kindness and inclusivity. I really admire the school that we're currently at because they are extremely diverse, they have a great sense of community, and they place a huge emphasis on inclusion and kindness. Academics can always be supplemented. If you foster a love of reading in your child, they can always learn by reading books about their topics of interest. And so it was important to me to choose a school where more value was placed on kindness than on being the best. And again, children learn differently. My girls are still in the earlier grades, but as they get older, if they seem to need a more rigorous program, we'll definitely look into that. Because when you are making decisions about your child's school career, you're not committing to the same thing for their entire school career. You have the freedom to try something year by year and see what works best for your child and for your family. Another big factor in choosing your child's school would be if they have special needs or an IEP or require certain services. The public school system has a lot of these sorts of resources available. And so if your child does have certain needs, these can be a lot more accessible through the public school system. Of course, there may be other kinds of needs your child may have where they would thrive much better at home if you're able to provide them with that level of support. Another important factor is to look at the community and resources you have available to you. If you do choose to homeschool, it is a huge commitment that is going to require a lot of time and effort on the part of the parents. You may need additional help with watching younger children while you work with the older ones. 
There may be certain classes that you would prefer for your child to take outside of the home. And so if this is a direction that you are strongly considering pursuing, I would definitely recommend looking into what resources are available to you in your local area as it's really important that you have a good support system in place as the teacher as this may have a big impact on your decision. Another important factor to look into if you're considering homeschooling is the curriculum that you plan to use and where that maybe comes from. In our area, Classical Conversations is a very popular homeschooling program, so I'll use that as an example. Now, the classical method of education is very heavily based in memorization in the younger grades, and therefore some children will really thrive with that type of education model where others may really struggle. But the bigger issue for me is that a lot of the classical education curriculum is based on and heavily influenced by the teachings of Doug Wilson, who has ties to what is known as the biblical patriarchy movement, both of which have some extremely problematic worldviews and teachings. By choosing to homeschool, you may think that you are going to be the one who is influencing your child's worldview and perspectives. However, keep in mind that the curriculum that you choose is also going to heavily influence that. So that's just something to be aware of as you look into different education models or curriculums that you know who wrote the curriculum, who the founders are and what they believe and what they may subtly or not so subtly influence in your child's beliefs and education. Finally, I believe that there is value in being mom and not mom and teacher. We aren't meant to raise our children alone and being responsible for every aspect of their education is a huge responsibility. I believe that it is so valuable and so important to have multiple people pouring into your children and assisting you as you raise them. It relieves some of the burden from you as well as broadening their perspectives. This isn't just something that mommy thinks, and there isn't just one way to approach a problem. Coming back to how children learn differently. Sometimes a fresh perspective from someone whose brain thinks slightly differently than yours might really help a concept to click with your child that they've been struggling with. We as humans are meant to live in community, and I think that there's a lot of value for you as a parent, but also for your children to have other people who also invest into your children. I know that if my girls are struggling at school, that I can also work with them at home. I know that they are in a great diverse community where kindness and inclusion are being reiterated. And I know that while this is working great for us right now, if in the future it's not working as well, we always have the option to make a change. I truly believe that we all have the freedom to make the choices that are best for our family and for our children, and that there are so many factors in that decision beyond just academics. Each family needs to evaluate what will work best for their family, their specific child in that year, and to feel freedom in making that decision or changing that decision if or when they need to. I'd love to hear in the comments down below what factors influenced your decisions on how to educate your children. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel down below. You can ring the bell button so that you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next video.